something that stood out to me when uh, Coach Mike McCarthy just spoke for mandatory minicamp is running back Tony Pollard, he says, is taking over a little bit of a leadership role in the locker room. Now, we've been around Zeke, we've been around Tony Pollard. Tony always a little bit more reserved Very than much so, yeah. Zeke. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to see how this is going to play out with the running backs room. Yeah, leadership, of course, comes in so many forms, yeah. doesn't it? Is You've Zeke got Elliott. the Dak type. You've got the right. Tyler, like all of everybody. Uh, Tyron Smith is a good example. Exactly. Uh, I would say Tony Pollard probably leans mm -hmm. that way. You don't hear Tony Pollard being a leader the no. way you do with Zach. Right. He doesn't have that kind of presence. I don't think he wants that kind of presence. Right. I, I think what McCarthy is referring to in part here is a cowboy tradition and a football tradition. Big brother passes down to little brother. I don't know that Tony Pollard was a leader when he was at Memphis mm -hmm. necessarily. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I bet you he learned leadership traits from being in this locker room, yeah, including with big brother Ezekiel Elliott, not to mention Dak Prescott and others. But if you're going to be a Pro Bowl running back, yeah. if you're going to make $10 million a year, mm -hmm. uh, and if, if you're going to be viewed as being good enough that we can say goodbye to Ezekiel Elliott, which is part of the equation yeah. with Tony Pollard and Zeke, uh, then it would be nice if you could do it all. And that is run between the tackles and run with speed and catch the football and pass protect and, yes, be a team leader as well.